Hello and welcome back to another week in new genre books. My name is Amelia and from Locus Magazine we're going to tell you the top new science fiction, fantasy, and horror books being published the week of April 2nd, 2024. If you haven't already checked out our annual fundraiser, please go find the link in the thing like NPR and PBS. We have to put out our hat every so often, which is embarrassing for everyone and somehow oddly noble. I don't really know how that works. Anyway, there's still some fun swag available like signed books and we are very grateful for everyone who has come through so far with support. Let's talk about books. First up, science fiction, we have five new titles to tell you about. From Christopher Ruocio, we have Disquiet Gods, out from Bain in hardcover ebook and audio. This is an epic science fiction novel, sixth in the Sun Eater series about Hadrian Marlowe. Called out of retirement and exile, the old hero, accompanied by his daughter Cassandra, must race across the galaxy and against time to accomplish one last task, to kill a god. From David Weber, we have Toll of Honor, out from Bain in hardcover and ebook. This is a science fiction novel in Weber's Honorverse, featuring Lieutenant Brandy Polego, who has uncovered the truth about the politically protected aristocrat who deserted and caused her ship's losses, and his new efforts to destroy his enemies, including Honor Harrington. From Leaf Anger, we have I Cheerfully Refuse, out from Atlantic Monthly Press in hardcover and ebook. This is a near future science fiction novel inspired by the tale of Orpheus and Eurydice and Gulliver's Travels. Rainy, a bereaved musician sailing on a sentient lake superior in search of his deceased wife, encounters storms and corpses rising from the depths. Also, a lawless society on land full of desperate and illiterate people and malignant billionaires. From Jude Berman, we have Debut The Die, out from Spark Press in trade paperback and ebook. This is a near future science fiction novel inspired partly by the Mahabharata. A woman in the democratic nation of California finds that the game she's helping develop has been tampered with, leading to the discovery of an app that can alter people's brains without their noticing, which is probably the whole point of brain altering technology. Like, if you're gonna alter brains, you gotta do it in a way that people don't notice. Because if they did notice, then they'd probably unsubscribe. You'd have to find a way to charge them money for the privilege of having their brain altered. I think that's how it goes. From Brian Andrews and Jeffrey Wilson, we have Four Minutes, out from Blackstone Publishing in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a science fiction mystery slash techno thriller novel. New Tech offers a glimpse of the future to a new elite counterterrorism squad, but it only allows four minute missions. Horror, well, a kind of horror, maybe more like dark fantasy, we have two titles. From Rin Chupeco, we have Court of Wanderers, out from Saga Press in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a vampire fantasy novel, second in the Reaper series. Remy Pendergast and his royal vampire companions return to face an enemy that is close to home. Simultaneous with the UK Hoder and Stoughton edition. From Sarah Beth Durst, we have The Lies Among Us, out from Lake Union in trade paperback ebook and audio. This is a fantasy horror novel. After her mother dies, Hannah's not sure she exists anymore. No one seems to see or hear her. Next up fantasy, we have six titles. From award-winning short fiction author John Wiswell, we have debut novel, Someone You Can Build a Nest In, out from Daw in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a fantasy novel, a creeping, charming, monster-slaying sapphic fantasy romance from the monsters POV. From Hester Fox, we have The Book of Thorns, out from Graydon House in hardcover trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a historical fantasy novel. Cornelia Shaw, stranded in France after escaping her cruel uncle, is recruited as an herbalist for Napoleon's army, but her gift with plants raises suspicion of witchcraft. You know, I think this witchcraft being suspicious thing is really a problem about optics. You know, how the public perceives witchcraft. If witches just unionized the way that dentists and doctors and lawyers did by creating a professional organization with certain standards that keeps the riffraff out. This problem of being suspicious should get cleared up pretty fast. We just have to do it like 150 years ago when these other professions created their standards. If anyone's got a time machine or maybe access to the dimension where witches created a professional organization in 1847 or 1859 or something, just let me know how that's going in the comments section, please. 
From June C. L. Tan, we have Darker by Four, out from Harper Teen and Hardcover Ebook and Audio. This is a young adult contemporary fantasy novel, the first in the eponymous duology. Two young people swap their magic abilities by accident and learn that they may be linked to a death god's disappearance. From Rania Hanna, we have debut novel The Jin Daughter, out from Hu Pu and Hardcover Trade Paperback and Ebook. This is a young adult fantasy novel. Death herself seeks her replacement as ruler of the underworld, but she chooses the daughter of a very stubborn jinn who wants more for her daughter. From Markel Grebo, we have Call Forth a Fox, out from Page Street in hardcover and ebook. This is a young adult fantasy novel, a sapphic twist on the fairy tale Snow White and Rose Red. On her way home from foraging, Ro encounters a bear attacking a fox. She fights the bear to save the fox's life, only to see the bear turn into a boy after her sister shoots him with an arrow. When the boy wakes, he has no memory of who he is. All he knows is Ro's name and that he has to kill the fox. From Jacqueline Benson, we have Empire of Shadows, out from Crimson Fox in hardcover trade paper back in ebook. This is a Victorian historical fantasy novel, the first book in the Raiders of the Arcana series, about would-be archaeologist Ellie Mallory, who finds a map to a mysterious ancient pre-Columbian city, and races to reach the ruins ahead of villains in search of a powerful arcane object. Finally, in anthologies and collections, we have four titles. From Desiree S. Evans and Sarasea J. Fennell, we have The Black Girl Survives in this one, out from Flatiron and Hardcover Ebook and Audio. This is a young adult original anthology of 15 horror stories of black girls. Authors include Monica Brashears, Justina Ireland, Zakaya Delilah Harris, L. L. McKinney, and Eden Royce. Forward by Tanana Reefdu. From Anne Leckie, we have Lake of Souls, out from Orbit US in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a collection of all of Anne Leckie's short fiction, including the new novelette Lake of Souls, simultaneous with the Orbit UK edition. From Philip Fricasse, we have No One is Safe, out from Lathe Press in trade paperback and ebook. This is a collection of 13 horror stories, one new. Introduction by Ronald Malfi. Finally, from Shishin Lu, we have A View from the Stars, out from Tor in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a collection of stories and essays that shed light on Liu's experiences as a reader, writer, and lover of science fiction from across three decades. That wraps up this week. Thanks for spending some time with us at Locus. We want to tell you everything relevant that's happening in the science fiction fantasy horror publishing space. We appreciate your eyes and ears and your likes and subscribes. Please do subscribe and turn notifications on so you know about this video when it goes up every week. This magazine and this YouTube channel are a labor of love. We are at Locus Mag or at Locus Magazine on most platforms. You can read more about the science fiction fantasy and horror field over at www.locusmag.com or throw some support at our Patreon. We are a 501c3 nonprofit. Come back and see us again soon, and we'll be here next week with more new books.